So it is time to continue with the uh, two pointer and sliding window playlist from the Strivers A to Z DSA course. But I was starting off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is maximum points you can obtain from n cards. So what is the problem stating? The stating that you will be given an array which contains the point of n different cards. For an example, the first card will give you a point 6, the second card will give you a point 2, and this card, the last card, will give you a point 1. Now, you're also given an integer k. Now, what this k signifies? You have to pick, like, there is a task given to you. You have to pick up k cards from these lot of n cards. But there is a slight uh, condition that is kept. The condition is, you can either pick up from the front, you can either pick up from the back. You cannot go into the middle and pick up something. You'll have to pick up either from the back or either from the front, right? For an example, I can decide that I'm going to pick up four cards, uh, like six, two, three, four. That is allowed. Or I can decide that I'm going to pick up one, seven, one, two. This is also allowed. Or I can say, I'm going to pick up one, I'm going to pick up six, I'm going to pick up two, I'm going to pick up three. This is also allowed. But the trick is either from the front or either from the back and consecutively. Consecutively, you cannot skip any cards. Okay. Now, you'll have to pick up four cards in any possible way. But you have to keep the condition in mind. And your task is to maximize the number of points you can pick. Uh, one of the ways that I can pick up is I'll pick up these three and this one. So what will be the summation? I'll get uh, 11 from here, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3, yeah, 11. I'll get 1 from here. So the total sum will boil down to be 12. I can try out different ways. I'll say I'll pick up 4 elements from the front itself. The summation will be 15, which is better than the previous pick. Or I can say, the pick of the first two elements and the last two elements. And the summation will be 8 and 8, which is going to be 16. This is the maximum amount that you can get. Got it? And this is what you will have to return. Now, uh, the extreme naive solution that I can think of uh, is going to be something like, okay, uh, first pick up four elements, right? And after that, pick up three from here, one from here. After that, pick up two from here, two from here. After that, Pick up 1 from here, pick up 3 from here, after that, pick up 0 from the front, pick up all the 4 from the back. And out of all these configurations, whichever gives you the maximum point will be your answer. Now, this is the basic thing that will come to my brain, right? So, can I convert that into logic? Maybe yes, right? We will be picking up something from the left. So, let's assume I keep a left sum. We'll be picking up something from the right. So let's assume I'll keep it as zero. So the number of elements on the left and the number of elements of the right, right? And that will eventually, if we sum it up, will be your total summation. Understood? So what I can do is I'll say, okay, let's start off with one thing. Let's pick up this window of four elements. Pick up this K elements at first. So if I pick up these K elements, the left sum will be 15. The left sum will be 15. So I'm picking up four elements on the left and uh, zero elements on the back. So overall, the summation will be 15. Okay. Let's, uh, what is the next thing that will come to your brain? Take out one element, dude. Just take out one element. I'll be like, why not? Let's take out one element. So if I take up one element, take out one element, I'll be left out with three elements. And the left sum will be what is the logical thinking? Will you sum up the three elements or will you just remove the last element? Yeah, just remove the last element. That is how your brain should work. I just remove the last element. So the left sum will be 11. And what will be the right sum? You'll be like, I'll just add up one element. I'll just add up one element from the back, okay? So can I say overall, the summation of K elements will be 12? We can, we can. And what is the next step? The next step will be just remove the remove one element from the left and at the same time increase one element from the back. So if I do that, can I again say left sum again 
will you uh, add up the two elements or will you just remove 3 from the sum just remove 3 from the sum 11 so thereby the left sum will be 8 and what will be the right sum you will add up one element that is 7 the right sum boils down to be 8 and the overall sum is 16 okay after that what I can do is I'll go ahead and say I'll remove 2 as well and what I'll do on the right is I'll add up 1 perfect that is amazing so if I do this the left sum will be nothing but 6 and the right sum will be you added 1 so that will be 9 and the overall summation will be 15 now what is the next job you will say I will not pick up anything from the left I will remove that so left sum will boil down to be 0 and the right sum will say I am going to add 2 to it I am going to add 2 to it so if I add 2 to it it will be 11 and the overall sum will be 11 after this do you need to do anything no I don't need to do anything so overall what is the maximum sum that you get that is 16 so you can just keep comparing and probably put it into some max sum variable and this is what you will be returning as your answer I think you got the logic pretty much and it's a very very simple sliding window problem so let's now quickly uh, try to write down the code so again I'll be writing down the pseudo code in case you want your language specific code you can find them below so you'll be given a function right where you'll be given a nums array and the integer k how do I write uh, the code for it? First thing I know is uh, the window is of size k. That is something I know for sure. The window is of size k. So why can't I say, okay, left sum is uh, equivalent uh, to uh, 0. And then I can just loop from 0 till k minus 1 at the index. And I can say left sum is left sum plus nums of i. So what this will do is, this will give me the sum of first k elements. And at the same time, I'm not picking up anything from the right, so I can keep it as 0. And I can also keep a max sum as 0. So can you tell me what will be the initial max sum value? So can I say the initial max sums value can be said as left sum? Because I'm assuming I've picked up all the four elements. I'm assuming I've picked up all the four elements. Okay, perfect. After this, what will happen? I know one thing. I'll have to shrink down the window, take out this element. And this element is at k minus 1th index. k minus 1th index. After that, I'll have to take out k minus 2th index. After that, I'll have to take out k minus 3th index. And after that, k minus 4th index, which is technically 0. Which is technically 0. So I know one thing. I'll have to go on from k minus 0 till the 0th index and every time I take out one element. That is something I know for sure. Let's try to write down that stuff. So I'll be like, okay, i equal to k minus 1, i greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. So every time what I do is left sum equal to left sum minus nums of i. So what this does is every time takes out 4, takes out 3, takes out 2, and then takes out 6. Perfect. But when you're taking out something, at the same moment, if you're taking out 4 for the first time, you'll have to add something from the back. So what I will do is, I'll keep a right index, and I can call it as n-1. Why can I call it as n-1? Because the first element that I'll pick up is at n-1. And what I can do is, I can say right sum is equal to right sum plus nums of right index because that is what I'll pick up. Once I've picked it up, once I've picked it up, because first time this will go off and this will be picked up, right? And after that, what will happen? This will go off and this will be picked up. So the right index from here has to move here. So please make sure the right index also keeps moving by one place to back because for the next time, it has to go down as well. It has to go down. Perfect. Now, I have a left sum. I have a right sum. So, can I say max sum will be max of max sum, comma, left sum plus right sum? Can I say this? I can. And eventually, can I go ahead and return max sum? 
I can and that will wait. Super simple. What is the time complexity? This one is taking a B go of K. This one is taking another B go of K. Am I using any extra space? I'm not. So can I say that the overall time complexity will be B go of 2 into K and the overall space complexity will be B go of 1. Yes. And this will be the most optimal solution. You'll find a lot of solutions where people are using prefix sum and other things. Don't get into that. If you can easily solve it by using variables, prefer that. Prefer that because it's a clean solution. It's an easy solution to explain as well. So this will be it for this one. So if you're still now watching and if you've understood everything, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's finish up the video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.